Hello, Panda. What are you doing? Hello, buddy. I'm looking at these jellyfish and I really like them. Oh, that is great because today we are going to study animals with Matias. Let's get started. Okay. Yeah, kids, we are going to talk about vertebrates and invertebrates. We are going to study vertebrates reproduction, alimentation and respiration, and finally invertebrates. Vertebrates reproduction. Vertebrates can be viviparous, oviparous, or ovoviviparous. They reproduce sexually, and they have male and female sexes. Fertilization can be external, it always takes place in water, oviparous animals do this, and internal, on land or in water. Viviparous, oviparous, or oviviparous can do internal fertilization. Vertebrates alimentation. Carnivores, they hunt for food, crocodiles and lions. Herbivores, they feed on plants, cows and rabbits. And omnivores, they eat both meat and plants, bears and pigs. Some herbivores are ruminants, they swallow to the food twice. Vertebrates respiration. Mammals, birds and reptiles take in oxygen from the air using their lungs. Fish and other aquatic animals take in oxygen from water using their gills. And young amphibians use their gills in water. During metamorphosis, they develop lungs and they also breathe through their skin. Isn't it incredible? Invertebrates. They don't have a backbone. They can be sponges, worms, cnidarians, mollusks, echinoderms and arthropods. Sponges. They have pores to filter water. Worms. They have long, soft bodies. They can be terrestrial, aquatic, or parasites. Cnidarians. Jellyfish and sea anemones are cnidarians. They live in the sea and have poisonous tentacles. Mollusks. They have soft bodies and can have one or two shells. They can be aquatic or terrestrial. And snails, clams, and octopuses. Echinoderms. They are marine. They have a hard outer covering and often have spines starfish and sea urchins. Arthropods. It is the largest group of invertebrates. They will have an exoskeleton. Arachnids. They have cephalothorax and abdomen, four pair of legs and up to eight eyes. Insects. They have head, thorax and abdomen, three pair of legs and usually one or two pair of wings. Crustaceans. They have cephalothorax and abdomen, five pair of legs but the front pair are claws. Mediapods, they have long segmented bodies and many pairs of legs. Did you like it, Panda? I loved it. Yeah, buddy. It's so interesting. I'm so excited. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye, kids.